as well, though, is um, especially I feel like I saw it in the stock ticker sunset versus me, uh, Ian Ribs. Is he had a lot of trouble shifting gears to deal with Wolf recovery versus yeah. Joker recovery, mm -hmm. and playing against two of them, of course, in one set didn't help. But I feel like now is the true test of if he was able to adapt. Mm -hmm. Had a whole set to play against one Wolf's recovery. Gonna see some mix-ups, but. Oh, and it, Ribs is getting so much off of that up air right now. And I love him opting for the dash attack instead of falling up into up airs because Nas in the air with a wolf on the ground is definitely where he does not want to be, even if he is really pummeling and going into Tweak. I love the though. low recovery catch coming from Mr. E, but Tweak of opting for the mid range recovery, you always think a step ahead. Huh, I wonder if he SDI forward, even if not intentional. Oh, that tom the tomahawk grab from, from Ruffy, which is so, so good. Knowing that Rivers is ready to either parry or just oh. do an out-of-shield option. Just decides to drop down and grab. This Please is very, ahead. very scary for Ness right now. I love the forward air going through those Joker hitboxes of neutral. Be so, so good. Mm -hmm. A lot of side Bs coming out from Tweak. He's kind of not holding the ledge as hard as he should be, but honestly, they've been doing just fine. Very oh, nice magnet double off jump ledge. magnet off the ledge. Ness has so many unique options off of ledge. He can do drop down magnet up B, yep. which definitely catch a lot of people. He could do jump magnet. He could do PK fire off of ledge, which yeah. covers so many different abstract options that you never would have thought. Yep. So you definitely need a little bit of Ness specific training just to like get that. Nice. And Wolf, of course, having no hitbox or instant snap to the ledge, getting two frame by Ness with the down smash. stocks to the Li Boys feeling a little bit saucy, a little bit mm -hmm. saucy. Um. I think something pretty important here is that um, it's pretty weird dealing with Wolf Nair after coming from to the Joker matchup mm -hmm. because Joker doesn't really have a landing area with that same exact level of pressure. Just because yeah. Nair starts swinging behind him for a little bit, it's not consistent uh, as uh, Wolf Nair. As well as um, just again, the air drift really helping him microspace versus a character mm -hmm. like Ness, who also is. Definitely right now, Mr. E recovering super low. Great DI mix. I have a feeling Mr. E recovered the way he did just now was because he wanted to hit ribs and change the knockback. Yeah. He, I think that was definitely the attempt. I love it. I love that so much. Even if it didn't work out, I just love the thought process behind it. Yeah. Um, and that back air, of course, is calling out Wolf no matter if he tries to low profile after that up smash. So, so good for Mr. E. And Mr. E losing his stock. And now they're down 2-2 two, two, to 1-1. One, one. Pretty good pressure from Ribs, but he doesn't put himself in between the tether and Joker in time. Finds Man, there's some definitely dropping. some notes for all Ness mains, especially myself, to take on the way Ribs is recovering. Yes, he is floating sure. at that mid range where he will get full invulnerability from up B. He's floating at the mid range where he can react, and he hasn't wasted his air dodge or his double jump. Absolutely. I feel like that's so, so commendable. So much restraint in Ribs' play right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Me being a Ness fan, I just definitely love this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, no, it's all good. Um, oh, the back feels so so good using the grab on me, waiting for Tweak to go in, making yeah. sure that he wasn't going to get F smash after he back through, because of course uh, all of Ness's throws have a quite a bit of end lag after them. Yeah, funny enough, I actually think he opted for up and let Tweak hit Ralph, which is pretty huh. funny. Well, and I'm surprised that the multi-hit forward had actually connected on Ralphie because he skipped the f second two hits of the multi-hit. He maxing out on the ledge hit. there. Oof. Catches Ralph in a sloppy buffered edge guard. Or buffered air dodge. Sorry about that. Ooh, and Tweak, you know, he's like, like changing up like at, in a moment. So <gasps> nice. Very good stuff. The best thing about so that was that E's pressure on block would have still been perfectly fine because the up smash would have yeah. just given him room to look for a shield breaker mix up or to just look for more down tilts to poke, potentially poke his block, rising fair to poke from the top. A lot of potential yep. there. I think right now, Mr. E is definitely playing a little bit more on top of ribs. Yeah. He's making sure I'm looking out for you when you get hit. Mm -hmm. I'm looking out for you, especially when you're committing to those PK Thunders. Yep. Because ribs throughout those PK Thunders, they did so much work keeping people off, keeping people juggle, yep. or just as a general interruption tool. And Mr. E was just like ready to follow up after it, not get hit by his own teammate, and making sure his teammate doesn't get hit. So that part of the synergy was just like, Mwah. Absolutely. Oh, that, that gets a chef kiss. That gets, that gets <laughs> a chef kiss from your boy. <laughs> 
Uh, one thing that I think is pretty new to E and Ribs as well is that Joker's anti airs on Ness aren't nearly as consistent as Wolf mm -hmm. F Smash, uh, Wolf Up Smash is. And we saw during one of the stocks, uh, Ralphie actually ducked under a Ness Fair and yeah. hard punished it with Up Smash. So I want to see if we see more things like that. But unfortunate stock loss from Tweak super early. He's oh, gonna up tilt, up tilt. And he goes for the nail, but the, it's a little bit too high of a percent for the nail, but the up air would have definitely confirmed. And ah, oh, Ribs, I love his angle on the PK Thunder, making sure he's not going to get dragged back down to the blast zone. And Mr. E's edge guarding right now is just superb, but he doesn't snap to ledge. And as a result, he's going to get edge guarded. He's still stuck on ledge, hitting his own teammate, getting off with a forward air. Oh, I love the way Mr. E is just dipping back down, hoping to get a reverse hit on the up B. Tweak taking his time now, realizing after that first stock, he really doesn't want to lose another. Especially not with Arsene. Oh, oh gets hit by the, the tail of PKT. Recovery. It's so, so good because of the way that he stalled. He just interrupted whatever option he wanted to opt for. That was just, oh, man, Ribs, I think Ribs is playing out of his mind right now. He is doing an amazing job. And that back throw, putting him right into the trajectory of Mr. E to follow up with an aerial, but missing it. And instead, Mr. E getting hit by the up smash by Tweak. Blue team getting hit by a lot of uh, nest buttons out of disadvantage here. Gonna get caught on by the, the side. the back so, oh. so good from Ribs. Oh, and this is definitely what Ribs needs to recover. Nice. And Tweak staying attentive, following up with that forward. It was so good from Tweak. Ooh, Tweak trying to read the DI down and in. Oh, with the down air, definitely completely safe. No reason not to do it. I like that from Ribs, not committing to the approach so as not to get countered by Joker. You know, Ness can hang off the yo-yo off of platforms just as easily. <gasps> he didn't want to hit him. He didn't want to hit, hit him. I love the uh -huh. effort from Tweak, and I love the thought of Ribs, but I don't think Ribs had all the technical execution that he needed to actually be able to get, uh, to be able to get oh. that done. <laughs> Good stuff coming from Tweak. <laughs> Um, oh, very sloppy scrambles off map. Going to result in E being the only one out of the game to start. F tilt coming from Tweak. Ooh. Pushing hard on this edge guard. And Misses I've seen Ribs do that before. He would double jump down. He would uh, drop off of Legend and double jump and then do a neutral air dodge as though he was going to snap to Ledge. But that's the mix. Yep. I've seen him do it yesterday. I think that's definitely a fantastic obs obscure option to throw out. Look at that. He did it once again. I, I definitely think it's an option to be considered of. And the Flash, it's just so good at calling out people trying to two frame you, going for an edge guard, because Flash has no end lag and you can act out of it, unlike Smash 4, which it put you into tumble. Yeah. Oh, and Smash 4 Flash was unusable. Yeah, it is great coverage for him at the ledge now. And in a 2v1, people aren't going to want to dip down and oh. be that risky. Unfortunate, tried Ribs. to look for the Mensa angle. He was so close to hitting it there. Gribs wanted to get the angle where he snapped directly to ledge, but he held on a tick too long. And as a result, the PK Thunder went under and behind Nas, popping him up like that, leaving him vulnerable to an up smash and the mercy of Tweak and Ralphie. Very unfortunate. And the timing on that Arsene as well, just getting the 2v1. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> um, going into game three, I mean, this is so even to me right now. Um, I just think, like, again, we're seeing, like, the same issue of Mr. E's losing his stocks a little bit earlier, and then Ribs is... Um, this is the first time I've actually seen Ribs be severely punished off stage. Yes. By Tweak. Tweak is... Now adapting to Ribs, the tweak is like, okay, Ribs is going to sustain off stage. If I'm up in his face like that, what is he gonna do? Yeah. And the answer is he can't do all that much. So you're gonna see Tweak going with the much more aggressive off stage options instead of committing to a neutral B. Yeah. Um and so right off the bat, Ribs is super patient, choosing to backline. He could have whiff punished Tweak for dash attacking, but knowing that most of Nessa's aerials are unsafe on hit at zero percent, love that restraint. Nice, gets his double fair, E taking the ledge. I think something huge here is that E just needs to not tunnel because there are times where he's hard tunneling on the kill and Ribs is behind him for support. But And so he really doesn't need to try to max out and he ends up losing the stock for it because yep. someone gets back. Ooh, I love that double jump back. Oh, I love double jump uh, P 
PK fire into a drag down up air. Almost got to confirm, but Tweak, knowing that he was not going to be able to hit the ground, was able to get that counter off just in time. Great up um, for self coverage from Ralph as well. Great up throw, just knocking Ness up. Ness in the sky is definitely not where you want to be. And Tweak. <gasps> Wow. Mansa, Mansa, that was so smart. Ribs was like, okay, my probability of dying here to Tweak's edge guarding is so high, I you am going to go and kill Tweak instead. Yep. And just sacrifice a suck, reset it. And now there's oh suck up for this. He just needs to make sure he holds this. This is especially yep. where he can't tunnel. This is like, this is definitely where Ness is gonna shy. He's gonna like, definitely get some damage off, maybe some PK fire, some multi heads right now, starting off something with a forward air, but not able to get the landing forward air. Uh, he and Ralph putting the angles together. Oh my god, I'm not even sure. I think that was fair and Wolf Backer ended up sending him directly up. And I think Ribs right now needs to have a little bit more restraint with his combo extenders because he's going for landing forward air, but Tweak and Ralphie both able to air dodge in time and make sure they don't get hit by that. Very nice reaction. And to they're the bringing it back Tweak. so, so well. Yep. They're taking a lot of advantage of E just kind of focusing too hard on getting one mm -hmm. hit as opposed to... That option for Ribs, for he was maybe expecting Mr. E to do like an up throw or something, or maybe a down throw. Um, but anyhow, I like the thought from Ribs going through that PK Thunder. I have not seen him connect a single PK Thunder to all set. Interestingly enough, great angles from Ribs. Uh, but he didn't snap his ledge, getting F smashed by Tweak for free. Great punish, just mm -hmm. kind of taking his time with it, watching what he's doing. I mean, like, Tweak... I just love the way that Tweak knows when he can commit to something like that and when he's like, okay, I'll respect it. I don't want to commit to this because I'll get punished even harder for it. Yeah, that stock may be a little bit tilting for E. He's swinging a lot right now, and it's going to result in ribs getting juggled for a lot of damage. Yep. Oh, great drag down up with some ribs, but the Rebels got coming out and armoring through it, and now we're about to hear the ascent coming from Tweak. Oh, very soon. Okay. I'm Very. in literal, absolute disbelief right now. Because <laughs> he got the reverse up B angle, and Ralphie jumped right into it. Yeah. He confirmed the tail hit into the PK Thunder 2. Untuckable, unfortunately, as Ribs well. Ribs is that's on something. Anything for Ooh. E. Ah, I love that option. And of course, Ness's air dodge, the longest, I believe, in the game. If it's not, it's either Ness's or DDD's. I'm okay, sure. that makes perfect DDD. sense to me. DDD has a really good air dodge, I'm not sure about longest, but... Nessa just has so much utility. You can snap from under Smashville. You know Nessa Zerdodge is longer than Dr. Mario's up here. That's fact. sad. Ah, uh, Rib's still hanging in there. Down angle F2, not gonna take it. Good timing from Ribs, mm -hmm. but the Nair, just He's gonna great PK coverage from Ralphie. Fire, maybe. Sweet, just watching. He's just sitting Oh my, back. he's doing that again. The double jump neutral air dodge. It's so good in, in ultimate, especially just because neutral air dodge has almost no lag on it whatsoever. Yep, absolutely. And uh, Tweak, just kind of timing that dash attack properly. Uh, doesn't get the down guns on the, the jump, so Ribs gets the angle, but he actually, that was he, very smart from Ralph. I don't know if it was entirely intentional, but Tweak because Tweak was his, in the way. He used his own hitbox to extend the hitbox yep. of the tilt. Got the extension. That was so good. That was incredibly good stuff. Um, and we well, are anyhow, see game four. <laughs> um, anyhow, we're going into game four. Tweak and Ralphie are playing off of each other super, super well, and right now we, we everything just got so quiet. Uh, yeah, people were really hyped for a second there. I wonder if there was another sec popping off. Mm -hmm. um, right now. You just, you just need to just see maybe a little bit more defensive play coming from Mr. E. Um, and whatever Ralphie and Tweak are doing right now, it's definitely working out for them. So, excite, um, uh, maybe they're going to be able to adapt in time, and maybe this set is already Ralphie and Tweaks. Yeah. Um, I'm curious what stage they chose to opt for, because Lucina is basically comfortable on any stage. Yeah. And Ness, oh, they chose yeah, to go for Ganova. It's definitely about helping Ness out. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this is definitely a good one. He gets the angles, he gets the aspect of PS2 for the juggles. But uh, Joker, definitely not a slouch on this map, because mm -hmm. he gets pretty nice drag down stuff on plats. Yeah. And Wolf, again, just gets to make great use of platforms, pretty much always because of his air drift. But on a map like this, where his full hop pretty much puts him directly on the platform, he gets a lot better fair extensions, or much better fair extensions. I love the tech chase option for Ribs, opting for a down smash, which would cover both the in roll and the neutral roll. But of course, Ralphie is staying one step ahead and uh, rolling out. So, uh, but I still really, really love the thought process of Ribs right there. 
Oh, such a great dash chance, just faking out Ralphie into an approach option. And I really love that. I feel like dash chances are something that are kind of abused by, I, I, I don't want to say lower level players, but they are kind of abused by lower level players a lot, and they Fair kind enough. of get dash attacked for it. But Libs not doing it this out at all, so it's like such a great movement mix up. Mm -hmm. uh, especially since he was able to get like so much off of it. That being said, red team loses both their stocks. Mm -hmm. Not as quickly as before, but they Great are going to find themselves in a precarious situation. Uh, and Ralphie has to stay attentive, making sure he's not going to get hit by That's that so PK That's so unfortunate for Ritz. He got pushed back by Ralphie's unit and ended up grabbing the ledge instead of getting the yep. uh, empty hop grab, but still getting the stock and mm -hmm. just trying to seal out what they can on Joker as fast as possible. Going for the down throw, just to maybe get a tech chase on the platform, so really great awareness from Ribs, but of course not being able to follow up because Tweak interrupted him with that neutral B. Um, and now E is again committing off stage, but unable to get the edge guard. Um, has to work eventually. <laughs> yep. Tweak, um, uh, holding the stock honestly as hard as he possibly can, really wants to get this second Arsene, and he finds it. Uh, and you just see this game playing so much differently than it did in Winner's side. This runback is definitely <laughs> um, just like Tweak and Ralphie got something to prove. Yep. And that was a great down there. Great forward from... throw, just getting a uh, mess off. And you see Tweak not committing to an edge guard, instead, he's resorting to helping his teammate. So nice I love that e. restraint from Tweak. He realizing that he could take a hit off of the misplaced down air from Tweak and actually snatching that stock up, taking the stock lead back. Will it be for long? He's Ooh. acting to make it so. He gets both counters fantastically played from E. They're looking to bring this to game five. So good. And now it's just like you blink, and now they're two stocks up. Granted, yeah. they are the kill percent, but Ness is definitely somebody who benefits off of rage combos, able to link maybe a couple of more forwarders with the extra little tiny shred of hit stun. Um, wow. Look at them, they're just piling up the damage, already dealing a, cum a cumulative 96% in the span of like seven seconds. Yeah. Really, really amazing. And Ribs getting the out of shield forwarder on Tweak, Mr. E, edge guarding Ralphie. It's insane just how quickly the momentum was just shifted in the set. Ooh, Ooh the beefy up be so smart from Ralphie knowing. Yep. Again. I'm Ribs, I'm gonna edge guard you, and Ralphie just saying, no, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> and again, hitting a shield just to delay it a little bit. Just ended up working out for him. And you see, like, Tweak is now, like, playing super, super reservedly, making sure not to take on any more percent, because if they can clean up the stock on E, they can also clean up this game. Ralphie getting hit by the arcing reverse hitbox of the yo-yo. King's -yo. getting dangerous to Ralph. He'll die to stray hits now. Good recovery from E. I like oh, that. Almost got it, Wow, too. laser into up, up smash. E. That was so beautiful coming out from Ralph and Tweak. Oh my god, great back here coming from Mr. E, knocking Ralph off stage, but enough to kill it. Oh, and Ralph going in instead of opting for the get-up attack. Um, maybe a little bit of panic option, uh, yep. because get-up attack would be the 100% guaranteed safe to go, go to uh, in that case. Um, delicious bread and butter. He was ready nice. on that platform to converge off uh, with the up, th up air, because if he was on the ground and he did the PK Thunder, there was no way he'd be able to like double jump in time and get it off. Yep, and so, again, big benefit of um, ha not having another platform there, honestly, is that he got to extend that. He would have gotten the chance to tech on Battlefield, yep. you know? And survive just a little bit longer. Yep. But right now they're at the stage. Disadvantage, uh, Tweak and Ralphie, of course, gonna be able to go just about wherever they please. And you did see, uh, in a way, uh, Tweak was unable to recover from super low distances on Unova, mm -hmm. as he normally would on PS2. So Yep, yep. Joker gets great use of wall jump on flat maps. Yep. So it definitely really max out. And uh, with only wall jump off the bottom of the stage mm -hmm. and up B, he can make it. Doesn't even need his regular jump. So the fact that he gets to save resources like that makes things really, really nerve-wracking. Um, but nonetheless, E and Ribs made great use of that map. Uh, again, just taking advantage of the fact that they could juggle in the center of the stage mm -hmm. way, way, way better. And uh, Ribs just kind of put himself about a double jump yep. on top of E, and they played that way. They just made sure they covered the two spaces. Because yep. we've seen it cover so much ground space, you know? Also, this is one of my favorite songs for any Animal Crossing stage. I'm sorry, this one is just like, it's it just that's a change of pace. I'm sorry, <laughs> getting, getting right back into the set. Um, right now, Ribs is at a pretty chunky 42%. Um, they were able to land a couple of good hits on him. Right now, Gibbs is looking to get anything started, but right now he's without his double jump on the stage, choosing to instantly opt 
for the air dodge back onto ledge. All right, things looking pretty even, but the funny man is out <laughs> here. <laughs> Um, that's definitely going to be really, really dangerous. Um, the funny man, yeah. of course, the funniest uh, in the room. just cleans up that soft stage. Absolutely. Um, Unfortunately, ooh. not getting very nice double parry from E. He missed a couple of those. He actually got caught by down air two, and he got caught by F tilt two for that. So the double parry is a great adjustment coming out from him. It's crazy how like these extra little tidbits of technical execution can just be like so helpful in maximizing the damage output. Absolutely. And just getting the most out of every single little interaction, especially when you're fighting as renowned players as Tweak and Ralphie. Yep. Every single little percentage counts. Um, e uh, coming back to stage, Ralphie not risking the two frame, especially considering that Lucina has a hitbox coming up with up B. I think the first two stocks might determine a lot this game. It hasn't been a great indicator of what's going on so far. But uh, if E and Ribs take that initial lead, they've been very good at sealing it mm -hmm. out. Ribs trying to get something started with a double jump cancel. Magnet trying to connect it into back air, but of course not letting the hit already two times. Yep, but how um, hard can A little bit of shield pressure with the up air. <gasps> oh, oh. Yep. Delicious. How Delicious hard deep. can they push this lead is really what the question is because if they don't walk away with more than 30, 40 and damage, that's gonna be the things could be over. Oh, goes for the double! That Catches the so 340 good. damage! That was so good. That was godlike. He could have up it. He could have. But guess what? He didn't. He no. went for the up and he also He's subsequently hit Ralphie. That big was baller. And also the fact that the tail covered him from the mm -hmm. jump. That was so good, man. Because, God, because if he Rips lands the fire. initial hit of the PK Thunder, it will confirm into itself. Yep. Man, Ribs knows what his character does. Ribs knows what to look out for, even in all these niche scenarios of somebody got shield broken on a platform and his teammate is going to go save him. Yep, and like, honestly, that was perfectly executed. Ribs mixing up his movement so much now that when he's between Tweak and Ralph, they're a little afraid to swing at him. Yep. Uh, and now you see uh, Tweak trying to clean up Mr. E's stock with those back airs. Down, they're going to get the 50 50. Great drop down pivot grab. Oh, I think that's just a turnaround grab from Tweak. He definitely faked him out, made E think he was going to go through the back air. At the eye. And now they're up one stock. This is definitely doable for Ribs and Mr. E right now, but they just have to find a way to get rid of uh, Tweak without the funny man coming out and doing yep. too much damage. <gasps> I love that option yeah, from the Ribs. They close the stock out, the better. But Lib's not going to get punished for here. it severely, but that could have also gone very badly. Um, I love throws. the fact that Libs is over committing with his double jump like that, but still able to air dodge back to ledge super, super safely. Red so, team getting super shield heavy as well. They've been getting grabbed a lot by Tweak here. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the stocks Ooh. this game have also come from okay. forward throw into uh, the Joker F smash, uh, up smash mm -hmm. with Arsene. So things are looking pretty scary. Ah, oh, and Ribs, maybe just a little slight misplace because he could have gotten the secondary returning hitbox on the yo-yo had he spaced that just a tad bit differently. And that's not going to be quite it. Oh, if they get this stock this right now from Tweak, things are going to get crazy. And you just see Ooh. Tweak playing at ledge, letting Ralphie frontlining play defensively. Oh, that was such good that positioning so from good. Tweak. And Ribs' DI was impeccable, making sure to live that. Oh, oh my god. Good stuff. Okay, so it's on E to run the 2v1 and here. Mr. What's e he going to do? Clean up the stock on Tweak right now. A back hit, a shield break, something, anything. He can definitely, definitely make this back for the team, but. Great stuff. That Honestly, yeah. They found 